I chose Chad McWhorter as my most influential teacher because he has truly made an impact on my education. And he has certain unconventional teaching styles, is a good way of putting it, that truly engages a class and made me confident in my writing skills. He has a dedication to the job that he would stay after till five to help a student learn how to do a simple paragraph and spend that much time helping them with that. And this year I took research and I really found a true love for research and everything within that field. So it's helping me with my future and he's also helped me get along through high school for him being my junior and senior year teacher for English and research. So I would just like to thank him for that and thank you, Mr. McWhorter. So I had the honor of being taught by Coach Costas this year, not only in football, but in powerlifting as well. And he's just one of those coaches that understands the importance of a good role model in developing individuals' lives. Many teachers and coaches say they care, and a lot of them might mean it, but to me, actions speak louder than words. And to me, Coach Costas proved to me this year that he was definitely there for me throughout everything that could possibly happen. And this year during powerlifting, I snapped my arm. And the day of my surgery, Coach Costas drove up to the hospital, prayed with me before my surgery, and was with me throughout the entire recovery process. He was asking me if I needed anything, if there's anything he could do to help, and he was just always right next to me throughout the entire way. And not just because there was a chance of me being able to powerlift again or setting any records, it was because he wanted to make sure that my future was good and that after high school, I was still set up. And so when it comes to inspirational educators, Coach Costas is by far number one, and no one's had the impact on my life like Coach Costas has. And I just wanted to say thank you. My most influential educator is Ms. Jernigan, and I, she was the first math teacher I had at the high school, and she just made me feel so welcome. I really liked her class, and it's honestly the most fun I've ever had in a math class, I think. She was my Algebra 2 teacher, and she made me really enjoy math, and I remember walking into tests feeling really confident about it, and I just really appreciate her. Uh, for Jacketeers, I'm on the dance team, uh, the Jacketeer dance team, and we have a staff celebration game every se football season and I chose her as my staff member to dance with and she took the time out of her week to come to the practices and dance with me and she gave me like she even made me like a little gift uh, bag and I really appreciate her you know spending time outside of her you know like home life and coming and dancing with me and just being such a good teacher overall. My most influential educator is Mr. Wise. He was my your European history teacher and human geography teacher and he has really ignited like a love and passion for social studies. It's something that I've never even considered before. But even more than that, he has given he's been an ear. You know, he's listened to my rants, my he's listened to my my problems, my venting, and he's given me advice that I sometimes don't want to hear. And he's completely honest about it and he listens to my side of the story. He he tries to see it from my perspective, but he also wants what's better for me and gives just, again, gives the best advice. He is someone, he is somebody that I see as an important figure and somebody I know I won't forget because at any time I can reach out to him. If I need to come in during my off period, you know, just to talk a little bit, he's always there. If I need to come in after school again to talk, he's always there. So I, I really appreciate that reliability that he has, and there's nothing more that I can ask for um, from him. It's, it's something that I never thought I would experience in high school, from a teacher especially. So thank you, Mr. Wise, for being here and helping me. Thank you. So I heard about the tales of British literature. My sister in specific had um, a different professor for the same class and she had said how it was very tedious and honestly just not that fun of a class. Um, so I was very weary about going into the course, um, especially since it's dual credit and it counts for college GPA. Um, but as soon as I stepped foot and I saw Miss Polly's super decorated classroom and just the atmosphere of it, I was really excited. Um, and I, I've taken a lot of um, English classes and writing composition classes prior to Miss Polly's class, um, so I was already pretty confident in writing. Um, but I think her class is what really took mine to the next level, as I learned not just how to ramble information, um, but how to entertain my reader. Um, and so anywhere from corny jokes to uh, putting song lyrics in my papers, I was able to have a new application of skills. 
Um, but aside from the classroom itself, Miss Polly is also just a very passionate teacher, and that's pretty rare to find nowadays. Um, but anywhere from um, before we took exams, she would sprinkle glitter in our hair, or um, letting us act out playwrights from literature, or um, just things like that. It really just shows how passionate she is and is able to make the class a lot more enjoyable and fun. And at the end of the year, it turned out being one of my favorite classes um, of all my high school career. So I have her to thank for that. And just learning under her guidance, I think, is just really shaped the way that I view my schooling. Um, and I'm going to hold her as a standard for the rest of my future professors and um, overall just um, yeah, that's why she's my most influential educator. My most influential teacher is Miss Smith. She was my sophomore English teacher and my seminar teacher, and she was just a mom away from home for me and made me feel so comfortable my sophomore year, and was just one of the best English teachers I could ask for. I chose Miss Hoffman as my most influential educator. Um, she was my teacher my English teacher freshman year and even though it was kind of an intimidating year coming into this new school um, she made it a little easier you know even just her room it's a comforting um, relaxing place and you can just walk in there and um, feel less stressed out from everything else going on at school she's a good listener and she gives good advice and so um, I kind of, you know, I admire her not just as a teacher, but just as a person that she is. And um, I think she has a lot of good things to say, a lot of, you know, I think um, the conversations that I've had with her, like, I really value them. And so I'm just glad that she's been my teacher because um, it, she definitely made my, um, whole high school journey a little easier. And so thank you, Ms. Hoffman, for supporting me um, throughout these years. Even just saying hi um, in the hallway to me, I really appreciate that. My most influential teacher is uh, Ms. Harold. I chose her mainly because the amount of help she has given me personally uh, last year in her English class. Uh, but mostly because I saw the help she gave to all the other students in, the, in, in my same class and other classes as well. I had uh, friends in, the, in her other classes as well. And uh, I heard all the good stories from her, all the, how uh, an amazing class it was to be with her, to be uh, around her. And especially from other teachers, that, like, like I said, like about Ms. Uh, Harold and everything they, that she has done to help them and how she's just a friendly person. She's just... Uh, just basically uh, like like a friend to everyone and there's no I never heard anything bad about her so that just gave me an assurance that I was choosing a really appreciative really uh, helpful uh, person as my uh, teacher so I want to thank her for all the help she has given me and to all the other people that she has uh, touched and helped. I picked Levi Duncan as my most influential teacher. He is always very welcoming and excited to be in the, in the classroom, and it's always so much fun walking into the choir hall every day. If I have any off periods or elective periods where I'm not doing anything, I always like to go in his office and sit with him and talk about the future, anything that's overwhelming me, or just our love for music. He has always had so much support for me and everything I've ever done, and I could not thank him enough. I picked Ms. Simpson as my most influential teacher. Um, I was taking government this year and I was very scared because I'm not a very government person or political person. And then I walked into her crazy room and I fell in love immediately and I loved getting to learn about the government and getting to experience the government in real life when we went to Washington DC together. Um, I'm just super appreciative of Ms. Simpson's passion for teaching and passion for always taking care of her students and for being such a good educator. Um, she's one of the funniest teachers I have ever had and I just loved going to her classroom every day. And even if we did fall asleep in her class and because it was the best napping spot at the school, she woke us up or let us sleep depending on our moods. But she was really awesome and I'm just very grateful that I even got to pick her. I thought she was gonna go super fast. Um, but I'm just so grateful that she was my teacher and this year and that I got to experience so many amazing things with her in Washington, D.C. Thank you, Miss Simpson. So I chose Eve Robinson as my most influential teacher. She's been my uh, drill team dance coach for three years now. Before that, I was at a studio where 
um, I joined kind of late, so it was a hard time fitting in, and it was kind of a toxic environment, and there was a point where I almost wanted to quit, and I remember I tried out drill team my sophomore year, and she, it was just a completely transformative experience because of her, and is she made me feel like I could believe myself again, and she believed in me, and I felt that, and that's kind of what she does for everybody. It's like, um, it's really a big support system whenever you join the team there, and she puts so much time into the team and everybody else there and making them feel loved and basically just providing them with a home and it's just something I'll never forget and I'm so glad I got the chance to um, have that experience with her and I will um, have a lifetime of success and in front of me and behind me to thank her for it. My most influential teacher is Mr. Grimmett. Mr. Grimmett, he has been, he's one of the more funnier teachers I've ever had. He's He's always given me a chance to really just try my best in theater. I didn't really act much last year. I only did once, but this year he gave me many opportunities to just participate in many shows. Like, And then there were none. I think that's my favorite show I've ever done. And it's his first show directing at Alvin High School. And I'm just, I'm very thankful for him to be a teacher here and be my last senior year director. So thank you so much, Mr. Grimmett. I chose Mr. Faith for my most influential educator. Um, he saw me walk in the first day, freshman year, first day of class, I had him, and senior year, I have him again. It's almost coming like full cycle, but I've had him all four years of high school, and it's honestly been such an amazing experience to have him as my teacher all four years. He's seen a lot of my downfalls, but a lot of my successes as well, so I think he knows me very well uh, as a student and as a person myself as well. Um, it's just been such an amazing honor to have him watch me grow as a person as well. And uh, I'm just very happy to have had the chance to have had him as my educator for four years. Uh, it's going to be really weird going off to college and having a completely different math teacher. Uh, I'm so used to his style of teaching and him just helping me out with math problems and just having him there. So. It's, it's going to be a little weird, but I am very thankful for him. And in simplest terms, I think it's sometimes easier just to plain out and say it. Thank you, Mr. Faith, for being one of my most influential educators. So for my most influential educator, I chose my coach, Coach Schaefer. Um, he's been the assistant powerlifting coach for the last two years at Alvin High School. And whenever he first took on the role, to be honest, I was a bit skeptical of his abilities to coach me just because I knew that he was new. Um, but I do regret doubting his abilities because he proved me wrong and he has stuck around for me for the last two years. Um, whenever we're at practice, he always tries his best and I can tell that he honestly wants us to be successful. Um, he coached me the best that he could, whether it was by, you know, helping me pull my bench shirt down or making the call for my next number or just simply give me a pep talk whenever I felt like I was having a bad meet. He was there for me, whether I felt like I was losing or winning, which I really appreciate. And um, he just stuck around, even though I was a little bit hard-headed. So thank you, Coach Schaefer, for you know being very patient with me and um, taking on the role as assistant coach so well. And um, thank you for you know just uh, being the best mentor that you could be and for having such a big impact on my life. And I know that you're capable of, you know, having an impact on other students and athletes as well. So thank you. My most influential teacher was Miss Kimball and I just met her this year. It was my first year meeting her. I'd never seen her before and uh, she made a huge, huge impact on my school year. It all started whenever I first got there and um, I got in the class and I saw her and I was like, Okay, uh, never seen her before. I don't don't really know what to expect. I hadn't started on my summer reading project, so I knew she wasn't going to be too happy about that. But once she got over that, then it was a good year. And um, she really has a great sense of humor. She thinks a lot like I do. She's very intelligent. And I'm glad that she was my teacher and wouldn't want it any other way. Thank you, Ms. Kimball. I picked Mr. Rose as my influential teacher because of how dedicated he is inside and outside of the classroom. I really appreciate all the work he's done for us throughout the school year and how he's concerned with us 
in the class and outside for personal reasons. Um, you can see his dedication through the amount of work he gives us and even for this AP test with, through the huge book that he's given us and going over in class. And he's also dedicated by showing up to our sports events and other school functions. And he's just a really genuinely great person. He's just been very helpful throughout the school year. And I really appreciate what he's done for me and my other classmates. And just helping me stay focused throughout senior year. So I really appreciate it. My most influential educator is uh, Mr. DeLeon. He was my um, 11th grade U.S. history professor. Um, I remember you know, the first day of class, he made it very clear that he was going to treat us as adults, which is something I always admired. And he was very clear with his expectations of what he wanted for us, which I really appreciated because I've always needed the more direct like instruction approach. And he was very patient with us. He understood that we're all human and things happen and he was always open to talk which was really helpful for me because last year was kind of hard. I won't, I'll, I'll admit that. Um, but he always made his classroom a very safe space for us to be in and it was just it was nice knowing that I had a teacher that actually cared that much about all of us and um, there were days like he would show us different job opportunities if maybe we didn't quite know what path we wanted to go. He called them Money Making Mondays. He would wear his little green tie and he always made class very fun and interactive and he was he's definitely one of my favorite teachers I've ever had. My most influential educator is Miss Orsag. Um, she's my most influential teacher because she believes in me and um, she's I find her very inspiring. I think she's a very smart woman, and um, I just really enjoy her class, and I really enjoy learning from her. She's absolute best. Um, this was my first year having her as my teacher, so uh, she made a pretty good impression, but um, that's why she's my most influential teacher. Um, to Ms. Orsak, I just wanted to say thank you so much for everything that you've done for me this year. Um, you've inspired me so much. Thank you. I chose Coach Piker as my most influential teacher. Uh, I met Coach Piker going to my junior year during summer camp. Uh, he was the new offensive line coach for us, um, and right away I knew he was going to be a good coach. Uh, right away he instilled very good values into his offensive linemen, um, those that would help us on the field but also off the field, which I think really helped me in the classroom. Um, I know that everything he's done for us, done for me, is going to help me when I get to the next level in college. Uh, I thank Coach Piker for everything he's done for me. My most influential teacher is Miss Teresa Luna. She has taught me all three years of high school. And I think a reason why she's my most influential teacher is because we share the same bond of helping others. And I think the fact that I know she has helped others like from her previous uh, careers and that she's went through medical things herself and that the fact that she's teaching us that, I think that's a big power that she holds to be able to hold all that knowledge of helping others and then like giving that to us. So I think that's a big reason why I admire her because she has all that knowledge and she's giving us the opportunity to learn it from her. And it's amazing that she's giving me the opportunity if I put in the work, of course, but that she's giving me the opportunity to gain this knowledge. I have gained a phenomenal amount of knowledge that's not only helping me just in general daily life to help others and help myself, but she's also helping me in my career and the next step towards the medical field. Thank you for supporting me and believing in me, giving me the confidence to do things that I didn't think I would be capable of. And thank you for just being there throughout these all years of high school. You've been a constant, and I don't think you realize how much that you've actually done for me. There's no doubt in my mind that my most influential teacher, Mr. Justin Zent, is one of a kind. Our, first, our shared first name already provides us a unique connection between both of us. But beyond that, he was the first teacher in my high school to nurture my personal interests and guide me towards the future. And Mr. Zent was able to eliminate my initial thoughts of computer science as a boring and tedious subject. 
Over the course of three years as his student, I learned the delights of computer science, a subject that no other educator can convey in such an engaging manner. Even though I didn't have him as a teacher this year, I thank him for the fond memories that, he had, that we had together, making a knockoff Asteroids game. And I will never forget the cherishable memories that we had together. Thank you. One of the most influential educators in my high school career was my choir teacher, Ms. Hobson. She has a very unique way of combining both her love for music and her great sense of humor. Um, every choir, choir rehearsal was very fun and entertaining, and while in the process, she still ensured that we were still making progress. Um, she taught us how to not take ourselves way too seriously and to just find joy in the process of learning, um, and also showed the importance of using humor to connect others and build relationships. I always remember the laughs and the valuable lessons I learned in her choir class, and to that I say thank you. My most influential person I picked was Coach Ming. She's been my coach for four years. She coached me, coached me in cross country, and one thing I love about her is that she supports me in all aspects, not only getting to know me as a athlete, but also getting to know me on a personal level. She was there for me in the ups and the downs, when I was passing out on the cross country meets, she was there. Um, it was refreshing to have someone who not only supported me, but pushed me to be better and better myself. My favorite memory of you, Coach Ming, was our 6 a.m. practices where you would follow us on your bike during our tempo runs. Those were definitely probably my fastest tempos. and. Those morning practices instilled in me a discipline and work ethic that I'll forever carry on thanks to you, Coach Me. I appreciate all you've done for me and for inspiring me to never give up, even through the tough times. My most influential teacher was Miss Almendiras. Hi, Miss Almendiras. She's so lovely. Honestly, one of the best teachers I've ever had. Um, not that she was specifically my teacher, but she's an assistant principal. She's an AP for our school and she's just absolutely amazing. I met Miss Almendiras, I don't even know how long ago, and it's not, it wasn't special how we met. I just knew that I could go to her if I ever needed anything. And so I had this school project where I had to look at the hyper-competitiveness of school and relation to teachers and students. And I thought of her as one of the perfect people I could go to just because I knew I could trust her. I knew I could ask her and she'd love to help me out. And I did and I learned a lot about her, more than I ever knew about like another teacher, about how difficult it is to work in the school system and how much they actually, how much hard work they put into it. And I just fell in love with how hardworking she is and how trustworthy and just how sweet and kind she is. I love seeing her in the hallways. She usually walks around and she makes sure to ask how I'm doing. And it's not that she just treats me differently. She treats me the same as everybody. She knows everyone's names. She makes sure that they're doing well. And then she asks, what are your plans for? Like, what are you gonna go do now? And I just love that because it's kind of impacted me to want to know how other people are doing. I want to ask them how they are, smile at them and just radiate this positivity that she has. And I feel like that's impacted me most because I want to be like that. I think she's truly awesome and amazing. <laughs> I chose Miss Stop for my most influential teacher award because I've had her for almost all my high school career, every year except this year, senior year. I remember walking into academic Catholic class freshman year and it was a lot of upperclassmen, so everyone kind of already had their friend groups made. And I kind of felt like an outsider at first. But then, come my birthday, she, I walk into class and she starts, the whole class starts singing happy birthday to me. And they had planned this out and I thought that was pretty cool that, and she did that for everybody. And I just, it made me feel welcome and it was just an amazing feeling because I kind of felt alone. And then as the years went on, sophomore year, junior year, she taught me important studying habits, which is always good for high school and later for college. I'm gonna keep using all those. And 
I remember the day specifically when she told us that she wasn't going to be teaching at Manville for my senior year, and it was, it was, it was pretty rough. Everyone, tears were shed. It was kind of a sad day, but I think that just shows the type of impact that she had on people that her students were willing to shed a tear for knowing that she wasn't going to be there next year. And I think that speaks volumes to how good of a teacher she was. Mr. Quentin Jones, my seventh grade pre-AP math teacher, is my most influential educator. He not only taught me the fundamentals of algebra, but he also taught me valuable life lessons that I still follow today. I always go back to the moment when he encouraged students during finals week by quoting a line from the comedic musical Sing. When you've reached rock bottom, there's only one way to go and that's up. This quote has been a source of motivation for me ever since. Mr. Jones's mentorship and guidance have shaped me into the person I am today. His impact on my academic journey continued through high school and it will undoubtedly continue as I navigate adulthood. I'm grateful for all that he has done for me and I'm certain that he will continue to make a difference in the lives of his future students. Thank you, Mr. Jones, for helping me develop as both a student and an individual. Your dedication and passion for teaching have made a lasting impact on me, and I will always be grateful for your guidance. Miss Root has always been the biggest guidance to me throughout my whole high school career. Um, she's definitely opened up a lot of opportunities for me throughout my whole career, so I definitely have a lot to thank for her for that. And whether it was lending me a beanbag to take a nap or whether it was a shoulder to de-stress on and to help manage my whole workload. She was always there for me and she always gave me a helping hand in whatever I was doing. So thank you so much Ms. Root for everything you did for me. I definitely wouldn't be in the position I'm in today if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much and I know that when I reflect back on my high school years you'll be the first one I think of. So thank you. My most influential educator is my AP statistics teacher, Mr. Almack. I always appreciated the way that he managed to make his class engaging. His class was always a breath of fresh air to break up the monotony of a standard school day. I always loved the shenanigans that would get into his class, like clapping whenever a visitor would enter the classroom. I was always interested in what we were going to learn that day, uh, as he was very good at presenting the information in a fun way, but still making sure that we understood the information. I am grateful for the time and effort that you have put into my education. Thank you for making me think critically and push me to be the best student I can be. Thank you for teaching me that I can work hard and still have fun along the way. Thank you, Mr. Almack. The person I chose as my most influential educator was Ms. Charlotte Boshon. Um, upon moving to Manville in the second grade, her son Landon was one of my first friends and we built a bond that was almost like a brotherhood. Whenever I went over to their house, she always was so welcoming to me, was always very kind, and she treated me almost as if I was one of her own. Um, whenever he passed away, despite her suffering a loss of her own, she was the one that was there for me to comfort me and help me cope in that hard time. Um, to this day, I still hold Landon in my memories and very close to my heart, and he's someone I look to as a source of inspiration and motivation in any time of, that, in any time of adversity. Um, I couldn't be more appreciative and thankful to Ms. Boshan for all that she's done to me, done for me during my time at Manville, and I truly don't think that I would be the person I am today if she wasn't a part of my life. So I just want to say thank you for all that you've given me, Ms. Boshan, and I wish you the best. I chose Ms. Serena as my most influential teacher because he has really impacted my life for the past four years. He's my color guard director, and he has always pushed me to challenge myself and to become a better captain and better performer in the program. He always believed in me, and every time I felt like doubting myself, he would tell me that I'm a great captain. You're a great captain, Gia. He would always tell me that. And that has always been in my heart every time I felt like I wasn't enough. So thank you, Ms. Serena, for always believing in me. Hi, my name's Chase Cross, and my most influential educator is Carrie Cross who happens to also be my mom. She, is, she was my uh, chemistry teacher this year, and what I love most about her is she always comes in prepared and always gives me um, my best ability to learn and helps me reach all my goals and aspirations, not only in the classroom, but in my li life. And I just appreciate her for all she does as a mom and as my teacher. So thank you, Mrs. Cross. Um, my most influential teacher is Ms. Mejia. She taught 
um, pre AP, pre calc, um, and during my junior year. And the reason I chose Ms. Mejia is because I believe that she passed on to me very important life values, such as um, persistent and courage to pursue anything. I remember then when, that when I entered her classroom, I just, she just had admitted this positive energy all throughout like, like the class and the atmosphere. And I could tell that she was like very passionate and very excited to teach her class. And I just knew this, she, cause she was like ready to teach us and she just came in like just with a positive attitude. Um, and on top of that, she just created a very comfortable environment in my classroom. And I feel like because of this, I was able to come up to her if I needed any help in terms of classwork. And when I like shared my like plans and goals to her, I um, she was just very positive towards this, and she um, like offered me encouragement, and she was basically saying that I could do anything. And I just honestly felt so good knowing this because I knew that um, like she had believed in me and I could do anything. Um, and I just want to say. Thank you, Ms. Mejia, for the kindness you have offered me and your encouragement um, and everything you've done. Um, I hope you continue being a positive influence the way like you have yeah, basically influenced me. Thank you. My most influential educator is Ms. George, my CMA teacher. Although I've known her for not too long, I feel like she's had such an impact on me. Not only has she prepared me for my medical courses, but she's guided me to clarity in my life choices. Miss George has pushed me to try my best and not give up. With her, I not only care about my destination, but the experience and journey I took to get there. She's like my school mom, and I can talk to her and relate to her about anything. Thanks to her, I feel like I am able to handle anything that is thrown at me. Miss George is a special person who deserves to be recognized for her positivity and good nature. Thank you, Miss George. My most influential teacher would be Ms. Jasmine Bodie. She was my student council leadership teacher and although we have known each other in such a short amount of time, I feel like she has had a great impact on my life. She has guided me through a lot of personal and academic decisions this year and I feel that because we align so much as personalities, we would have made the same, some of the same decisions. So this she kind of allowed for me to, she kind of helped prevent me from making some, you could say, less wise decisions. And I just really want to thank her for all that she did for me. She didn't have to do this because, you know, she just could have just been my teacher, but she decided that she wanted to be more than a teacher and really did impact my life. The educator that I chose to be my most influential educator is Miss Stephanie Jones. She teaches um, health science and health science with clinical rotations and microbiology at Manville High School. And the reason that I chose her is because every single day that I walked into her classroom, I felt so happy and bright because that's the same like positive attitude that she would bring to us. So just seeing her positive attitude and the way that she approached things, even when it was stormy and raining and we didn't think that the buses would come and we'd have to stay at school until four o'clock, she was still there and she was still there with the positive mindset like, oh, well, at least we can still be together and play just dance for a little more time and stuff like that. Um, I think I had her junior year, and junior year was one of my most formative years, I would say, because after COVID, I felt a little spiral, like, downward. So I think having her, especially right after that time of just stagnation, was, it was just so perfect. Like, it felt like a huge blessing to me for her to be there during that period of time in my life, because I was really introverted and really shy, and she taught me to just go out there like you can't be scared of the world because I mean there's nothing you can do the world's always going to be there so she always taught me to just go out there and be yourself and doing clinicals while she was there as my teacher it was it was great because I got to do a lot of things I got to experience a lot of things and yeah she's just a great teacher I wish I could like thank her every day and she deserves everything good that comes her way. My most influential educator was my coach, Coach Lee. Um, she, since the moment I met her, has always been very welcoming and she is nothing but a ray of light and every single day you can come into her classroom. Every time you see her just passing in the hallway, her smile is just a ray of light and she has always been there to motivate and push and 
Um, also, always in the most kindness way, even though sometimes you may be like, oh, she's too nice. But that niceness is what makes Coach Lee Coach Lee, and that's what gets you to move every single day because it just inspires you and motivates you to be a good person because she's the type of teacher that you want to be teaching at your school because she's the one who builds relationships with kids and makes them feel at home, makes them feel safe, makes them feel comfortable and happy. And that is why she is my most influential educator. Hi, my name is Sam Thomas or Samuel Thomas and my most influential teacher was Ms. Shishadri. So in my junior year, it was my first year at Manville High School and uh, Ms. Shishadri was my seventh period teacher. She was probably the best teacher I had the entire year. Uh, she definitely helped me improve my writing, my essay ability and also helped me get a good AP school. Thank you. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for being the best teacher. We're also both Indian, so it's pretty cool. And yeah, thank you for everything. Mrs. Solis is my most influential educator. From being there for me from an academic standpoint to a personal standpoint, she was always the best thing I could ask for. Mrs. Luis was there for me whenever I needed help on assignments, whenever I needed help on reading. But she was also there for me whenever I needed personal help. Coming into elementary school was very difficult for me as I did not fully understand English, my first language being Spanish. But as I entered and navigated through elementary school, Mrs. Luis made it a cakewalk. She was there for me whenever I needed help presenting, talking, reading. She was always there for me to bring me up instead of bring me down. As lo along with helping me on that, she was also there to help me find my cultural identity. She helped me find more people like me, more books that interested me, and yeah, I was able to learn about the Hispanic culture. Along with helping me learn with the Hispanic culture, she pushed for me to learn about others, and as a result, I was able to learn about many other things that interest me now to this day. Thank you for everything, Mrs. Esther Solis. You have really helped me become the great person I am today, and I will not be here in this seat without you. Thank you for everything once again. My most influential educator is Ms. Sherry Van Sant. To me, she's the most influential because I remember when I first walked into her class and I felt so nervous, I just transferred into a new high school, and it was one of the first college classes I took, so I was very nervous. And professors normally have the stereotype of being very strict and harsh on deadlines. But I loved history, and as soon as I walked into her class, she gave such a wonderful atmosphere. She, and she was so passionate about what she was teaching, and that really reflected in every lecture she gave. And so I looked forward to every lesson and every critique she gave me on my essays. I want to say a big thank you, Ms. Van Sant, because you have really influenced me in so many great ways. You taught me how to be such a wonderful person. You taught me the importance of patience and understanding. Um, and I just thank you so much, and I really appreciate it. Uh, I chose Coach Wilson as my uh, teacher. He has basically been my coach since my freshman year for soccer. Um, and throughout my four years in high school, I just came to know that I knew he would believe in me. Uh, just from how we reacted. Uh, we first met when I was in the eighth grade. It was soccer season. I was currently um, injured, so I wasn't able to play it. And so while I was off the field, uh, he, he got to know me, asked me questions, and uh, that was basically when I realized that it wasn't something that was only on the field. I knew that um, after that point that he, I felt like he was someone I could go to for help or for any advice or anything. And we just created that good like student-teacher relationship where I knew he was someone I could trust when I needed something. Uh, and that was something I definitely uh, really appreciate because I know a lot of student athletes aren't always um, lucky enough to be able to get to know their coaches and form that kind of bond with them. So that was something that me and him were able to have. Um, so after that, he had put me on varsity in my freshman year and that was super, super nerve wracking. But he had always encouraged me and he lifted me up. Uh, and it was just evident that his faith in me was just bigger than soccer. And so uh, after grade checks my freshman year, he came and told me he wanted to be my top 20 teacher. And I was like, okay, what does that mean? And so he kind of just explained it to me and I just kind of, you know, shrugged it off. I was like, okay, wh whatever you say. And um, when we first got our ranks back and I got mine, uh, he came and asked me how mine was and I was up there. So it's kind of been my drive to kind of stay up and push myself. Um, and just throughout my entire career, uh, he just, he never let me down. He was like a driving force for me to work hard and be the best version of myself. Um, and Coach Wilson, I want you to know that you have influenced me so much and uh, you've helped me to believe in me to um, just 
pursue bigger greater goals and I cannot be more appreciative of you. My most influential teacher was Miss Summy at Passmore Elementary. She was the best music teacher I had ever had, and she had always pushed me to um, do more than what I thought I could do, whether it be in choir or playing the ukulele or the silly little quarters we had in elementary school. She was always there and supporting me. Thank you for that, Miss Summy. My most influential teacher is Mr. Rye. Mr. Rye, my greatest inspiration, the one who's impacted my time here at Rise the most, our endless conversations and laughter, his supportiveness of all my ideas, I will forever be grateful for. Thank you, Mr. Rye, for all you have taught me. It's forever in my heart. Hey, Ms. Lackham, you. Um I'm sure you know what these videos are about by now, but I genuinely do appreciate everything that you do for me um, and how you've been able to help me grow throughout all of my high school years. Um, so I decided to write you a little, a little rap that I'm gonna perform right now. All right. Let me take a moment to give a shout out to the best teacher around, no doubt. More than just someone who taught me math, she believed in me and helped me pave my path. She saw potential in me that I didn't know I had, pushed me to be my best even when I felt sad. She inspired me to chase my dreams and never give up, and I'm grateful for her guidance and all her tough love. She's an artist, basketball player, mentor, and friend, and she's always here to support me through the thick and thin. So to Ms. Lackamy, I want to say thank you for all the lessons you taught me and all that you do. You helped shape me into the person I am today, and I'll hold on to our memories in every single way. Um, again, I just really want to thank you, uh, Ms. Lackamere. You really helped me grow as a person and helped prepare me for next year. Um, and I'm really going to hold on to all the time we spent together in first period senior year. My name is Joseph Cease, and the teacher I selected was Mrs. Martinez. I had Mrs. Martinez through my sophomore year. Um, that was a hard year for me. It was through COVID, it was online, and um, I didn't have a lot of interaction with my teachers. And, it, and when I did, it was, really, it was almost always for grades or um, something of that nature. But with, with Mrs. Martinez, um, I'll never forget how every day she would give us like, she would give us work that was that wasn't just Spanish related. It was work that was you know like craft craft the vision board to find out what your what your life's gonna be like. And I, all the stuff that I thought wasn't gonna be what wasn't gonna be important turned out to be be, be be very important. And it gave me more vision and more direction. Um, and I was able to find what I wanted to pursue. And um, I just got good at it. And I learned not to waste my time um, because of Mrs. Miss, because of Mrs. Martinez. And I'll, I will never I'll never forget the way that she's able to balance being a mom, be, being a teacher, and being an entrepreneur. I thought I was very inspirational, and she's somebody who I'll always look up to in that regard. Thank you, Mrs. Martinez, for all you've, you've done for me. Thank you, Ms. Gardner, for everything you've done for me. She is my most influential teacher. I first had her in sixth grade when I was at Rodeo Palms Junior High, and having her as a teacher allowed my talent to grow, and, and I began to enjoy learning every single day through her class. And through the way that she taught and the assignments that she designed. Her class was one of the things I look forward to most as a student at Rodeo Palms Junior High when I was in sixth grade. And I, through her class, I got to explore what STEM could do for the communities around me. With her position as the STEM program coordinator, she continued to have a lasting impact on my academic career. And because of her, I managed to stay motivated and inspired to continue my career and to maybe a possible STEM field in the future. Thank you for all you've done for me. So I selected my dad as my most influential educator. And really, I don't know who else could be. Uh, all of my favorite memories from high school, all of the best things that have happened to me have been in his band program, right? And that's not just because it's band and those things are going to happen because that's what happens in band. It's because he has done so much to make all of these memories good for us. And he has put all of that work in so that we can have this experience. And I mean, I've, I've gotten so much out of it, right? I've learned how to lead. I've learned how to work at something hard until the job is done. I've learned what it is to just polish something and just keep polishing it even though it'll never be perfect. Um, and just, but still to be able to look back and see like all the progress that you've made. I don't think I could have gained all of that from any other teacher, from any other class, and 
So my dad has to be my most inf influential educator. Thank you for always guiding me along the way and for pushing me to keep going even when uh, I was frustrated or when you were frustrated. Um, this isn't like a goodbye or anything, obviously. I'll still be around, but thank you. Hi, my name is Sydney Matthew, and my most influential educator is Mr. Swan. When I first started high school, I wanted to immerse myself in the business world. In doing so, me and Mr. Swan created DECA. DECA is Shadow Creek's first ever business club. DECA is something that me and Mr. Swan are both proud of. Over the past four years, we've been able to get, gain lots of members, compete on the international level, host a variety of guest speakers, um, we've raised a lot of funds, and gain corporate sponsorships. Of course, with DECA, we've had our ups and downs in creating a club. Because of COVID, we had to really think outside of the box in order to increase quality engagement and competition preparation. Through this, Mr. Swan has taught me, as well as many other DECA members, about hard work, perseverance, and being able to stay determined through it all. Mr. Swan is someone that I know I can always talk to. I can just go into his classroom at any time and talk about DECA and school. Mr. Swan has also taught me that in life, you can do anything you want and you need to constantly work at bettering yourself. Mr. Swan, in addition to being a teacher, is also starting his business and he is obtaining his master's degree. Because of my experiences with DECA and the motivation with Mr. Swan, I've been able to solidify my major and my career plans and I know I'm ready for the next step in my educational journey. My most influential educator was Jonathan Pham, uh, who is a physics teacher at Shadow Creek High School. Um, some of my best moments in school this year have been in his classroom. He's taught me so much and he's taught me, um, you know, how to be a good mathematician, a good scientist. He's taught me how to kind of explore the why of why we're doing things in class. And um, I think I'm definitely going to carry all those lessons into college. So I'm definitely extremely thankful for him. My name is Andrew Dongshao and my most influential teacher was um, Ms. Blades, uh, Ms. Pamela Blades. Um, this year she was retiring and I'd like to thank you for, for everything she has done for me. Um, she has been my teacher since I was a sophomore and throughout and she's taught me AP Re seminar, AP research and AP literature this year. And throughout all my throughout my entire high school career, um, she's always been there for me. Even when I'm just slacking off or trying to take a nap in her class, she always makes sure to push me, um, push me out of my comfort zone and push me to do my hardest. And uh, I, I'm in a little annoyed sometimes because I don't like getting waking up from my nap. She always made sure to like never go ease on me, made sure to do my best and go beyond. And she also made a huge effort to read my English essays because I'm, I'm kind of known among my school for having a horrible handwriting. But she's always made sure to like read it and give me a grade I deserve. Uh, even when I like screw up my essays or um, do really bad on presentation, she always made sure to show me what I did wrong and help me improve on my on essays. And she always offered me words of encouragement whenever I improved and did better. And I'm very thankful for everything she has done for me. And even when um, when I am procrastinating on my essays, such as my AP research paper, she was there. She was there to help me get that essay turned in to the AP College Board. At the even to, even it was at the very last minute. Even after she warned me so many times to get it done, get it hurry up, she was still with me t until the end to get my paper done. And thank you for everything you have done for me, Ms. Blades. And I'll always be grateful to have you as my teacher. My educator uh, is uh, Mr. Adam Hobson at Shadow Creek High School. I had him for AP Macroeconomics in my first semester of my senior year. And honestly, his class just, it was really a break from all the chaos and all the uncertainty that being a senior had to offer me and everybody else. Because really, in a time when we were pressured to make so many quick decisions and so many life-changing choices about where we wanted to go to college or what we had to do, Mr. Hofson's class, though it was a little bit challenging, was just that chill atmosphere where we could unwind and learn about a topic that a lot of us had never really experienced before. Um, I've been fairly close to economics since my freshman year, so his class did come naturally to me. But through all of his dad jokes, all the tests, all the leniency, and all the funny, inspiring, and just memorable conversations we've had, I will absolutely never forget the influence he's had on me. I will definitely miss you, Mr. Hobson.
and I really hope you keep teaching for many, many years to come. The teacher that I chose as my most influential educator is Mr. Lechleiter, and he was my teacher for AP Research, which was by far the most valuable course I've taken throughout all of high school. And so I was pretty quiet in that class, kind of keeping to myself and staying in my own little corner. But I always felt comfortable seeking him for guidance when I ran into roadblocks with my research or just showing him my progress and asking for suggestions. And I really think it was his class that helped me to get so comfortable with asking questions and asking my teachers for help. Um, because even though the course is built to be very self-guided, um, he made sure we knew that he was always a ready and available resource for us. And every time that I would sort of step out of my bubble and um, reach out to him, it'd always be worth it. And I would always get something new or something valuable or inspiring from it that would that would give my research new directions and that would um, enhance my research and my experience in that class as a whole. And even though I don't have him as a teacher this year, I still feel support when I'm passing by his classroom in the hallway or when we get to have these conversations every now and then that um, always brighten my day and remind me of how far I've come and how much I've grown and that also remind me of how much more can be achieved if I stay curious and keep working hard. So thank you, Mr. Lechleiter, for all your support and dedication. It truly means a lot to me, and I'm really grateful to have had you as a teacher. Mr. Kaji is my most influential educator because of all he's done for me. Ever since I got into high school, even in freshman year, my brother would tell me how great of a teacher he was. He made me excited to go to calculus, and when I first met him, he came into our class whenever I was a freshman, and he taught us a bit of easy calculus, and I was like, I know this was going to be a great teacher. And then going into his class my junior and senior year, I realized how great of a teacher was because of how he introduced collaboration into the teaching room and made us just better students overall. Other than that, Mr. Kaji adds so much to the classroom without his teaching by being a person that just is there to talk to. And overall, thank you, Mr. Kaji, because for everything, you've been there playing soccer, playing uh, code names, and most of all, you're teaching. And I just want to say your catchphrase, stay fresh. The teacher I chose as my most influential teacher is Mr. Sulzer, my AP drawing teacher. Ever since I was young, art has been something I'm incredibly passionate about, and it's always been really important to me. So when I entered freshman year of high school, and I saw all the AP drawing kids, I knew that that was a class that I wanted to be able to eventually take. Mr. Sulzer has truly been the teacher who has pushed me to reach my full potential the most. Every single day, he provides me with really sincere advice and feedback on all of my art pieces, and he's allowed me to find my voice through my art, which is something that I feel like I haven't been able to do in the past. Every day, Mr. Sulzer not only talks to me about my art, but he also makes sure to talk to every single student about their true passions and interests in life. For example, at the beginning of the school year, Mr. Sulzer allowed all of us to make a collaborative playlist, which he plays every single day in class. And this is just one of many examples of how Mr. Sulzer allows all of our voices to shine through. I will forever be grateful for Mr. Sulzer's teaching, and I know that I'll carry through all of the lessons I've learned from him throughout my life. Thank you, Mr. Sulzer. Mrs. Kaji is my most influential educator because she started off as my human geography teacher freshman year and then throughout the past four years in high school she's turned into so much more. Last year I would come and I would help her grade papers and now this year I come to her and I tell her like my problems or if anything goes well I'll tell her that too. She just, her room just feels like such a safe environment for me and it always has. I remember freshman year, we had this FRQ and I got an 86 on it and she told the whole class that one grade in the daily grade book doesn't matter as much in the long run and I told her that like it kind of does matter, I it felt like a lot of pressure but she made sure to like comfort me and that really meant a lot, like freshman year, having some of the pressures relieved. And I feel like I've taken that moment with me throughout my four years, and that's why I'm here today. And even now, I come to her class, and if I have a bad day, then I'll come to her, and she makes me feel better. And then when I have a good day, I'll come to her class, and it just makes me feel better. 
if Miss Kaji had 100 fans, I'm one of them. If she only had one, it's me. And if she had none, then I'm dead. I just want to say thank you to Ms. Kaji because there's nothing I could ever do that would repay how much she's meant to me over the past four years. Hello all, my name is Eric Zhang and my most influential teacher is Ms. Delorier. Whenever I walked into Ms. Delorier's class in the 10th grade for AP European History, I had no intentions of studying history or anything liberal arts related in college. But however, after, her after taking her class, she inspired me so much to love history and all of that, that I'm actually going to Yale University for the pre-law track and I'm going to be studying political science now. And I want to thank Ms. D for being such an influence in my future and what I want to do with my life. Uh, I also want to thank Ms. D for being the best sponsor for all of my clubs such as Model United Nations, History Club, and being the best um, person to help me host my tutoring sessions for AP European History for these past two years. I want to thank Ms. D for being there for me whenever I needed her and influencing me for like my entire life. I will never forget you and I just want to say thank you. My most influential educator was Professor Angela Miller. Now, Professor Miller was my sociology professor my junior year of high school. And not only did she teach me about sociology, but she also instilled in me a positive attitude uh, in my academic career. And she really encouraged me to strive to better myself um, professionally. And I hope to carry this positive attitude that she instilled in me throughout my college career. And Professor Miller, thank you so much for being such an amazing teacher. I really could not have gotten through my junior year without you. Thank you so much. So my most influential teacher was Mr. Verma. He was my math teacher, my geometry teacher in eighth grade. And from the very first day, I could tell the kind of mentality he had towards teaching. He catered towards every student and he instilled a strong discipline in every student. He would greet me with a handshake every day and that kind of set the right tone for the class going forward. He always taught with a smile, and he always took the time to make concepts clear, but at the same time, the class was enjoyable, so when he brought those two things together, it was really, he was really able to help me learn. And um, you know, in terms of my broader career, I want to go into computer science now, and he really established the building blocks for that foundation because he taught me how to think creatively and logically, and so he has really impacted me in that way. Thank you again, Mr. Verma. You've made a big impact in my life, and I wish you the best going forward. Hello, my name is Joshua Manalastas and my most influential educator is Coach Morales. So Coach Morales, my first impression of him was at Regent last year and little did I know how much impact he would make on me in such a short time frame. He has taught me the fundamental characteristics of leadership and hard work, all of which I will be implementing towards my future. Thank you for being such an influential coach and for finishing my last year strong. Thank you. One of my most influential educators was Miss Wang, and I actually ended up requesting to be in her class in first grade because I heard so many great things about her from so many other kids that I actually really wanted to be in her class in the first grade. And not only did I meet my best friends in that class, but I met one of the most supportive people in my life, which was Miss Wang. And she has been so supportive of me ever since then, and I cannot thank her enough for that, truly. Um, she was my first and second grade teacher, but she was also the GT coordinator at Mary Merrick. She introduced me to the world of academics and she has supported me so much as I grew into become, becoming an amazing student. Um, I won't forget how she smiled every single time that I walked into class and as a young kid I really needed that support and I'm so glad that she was able to be that for me because it was so good having um, such a nice support system as such a young child. Even after I left elementary, she has continued to root for me on the sidelines and cheer me on. And every single time that I see her, she's continued to ask me about my day, ask me how I've been, and I really, really love her for that. And another thing is, is that every single time that we have volunteer events at Merrick, I constantly sign up for the ones at the elementary just to see my elementary teachers again, and especially Miss Wang. I cannot thank her enough, and I just wanted to say thank you for the endless support that you have given me throughout my life because I'm so glad that I've been able to have someone who was there for me since elementary all the way up until high school. The teacher I chose as my most influential teacher is Miss Gay. Miss Gay is the epitome of what an educator should be. Um, these past four years I have been in her class have been yet meaningful, have been yet educational, but also meaningful. Miss Gay is more than just a teacher, she's a friend and a person I can talk to whenever I need her. One very special memory I have with Miss Gay is 
Um, this year when we had to make our t-shirts for Academic Decathlon, our theme was American Revolution and so for our shirts we wanted to put Miss Gay on the back of them instead of George Washington and so her face is instead there for George Washington and so um, we all told her we'd wear it around in college and stuff and so um, it was very um, a sweet memory we had with her and so however anyone who knows Miss Gay is aware that her value comes not only from her exceptional teaching skills but also the way she interacts with her students. She always makes sure there's a safe environment for her students and we can always express our feelings when in need to her and so I always admired that of her and also unless throughout all these four years that I've been in her class she's always made an effort to um, talk to me and get to know me and I really appreciate her for that and so without her I wouldn't be the person I am today and so thank you Miss Gay. So the teacher I chose as my most influential educator is Senora Mesa and so I had her initially in freshman year and she was my first period teacher so she was my first impression in high school which obviously turned out well and like most of us I took Spanish uh, just to get my language credit over with but because of her dedicated teaching style and how she engages her students in Spanish beyond just the language I decided to keep taking Spanish so in my junior year when I was taking Spanish 4 I had Senora Mesa again and it was thanks to her teaching style that I became conversationally proficient in Spanish and so I thought in my junior year that'd be my last year being able to be close with her but in senior year me and my few a uh, few of my friends decided to start our school's first Spanish honor society with the help of Senora Mesa's helpful sponsorship um, of the club and so because of this, I grew a lot closer to Miss Mesa as we would stay long hours after school, which included her reminding me to text her whenever I got home safely, which just represents her as a person in which she treats her students not just as students, but um, almost as her own children. So as a whole, uh, gracias por todo, Senora Mesa, te amo. So I chose Ms. Fuentes as the most influential educator, and she was my orchestra director for my last years of high school, my junior and senior year. And Ms. Fuentes' dedication to our orchestra program was unparalleled, and she gave so much into it. She would, she, she would sacrifice so much of her own time, her own personal liberties to contribute to our orchestra, and she just allowed our orchestra to thrive and improve under her. And not only me, but I'm sure a lot of my fellow orchestra classmates also improved tremendously under her leadership. So I just want to thank her for all that she's done to me. Um, Ms. Fuentes, you've inspired me to be the best I could be, and I'll always carry the lessons that I've learned from you with me.